Boxing truth here. Let me talk about this chump, Arizani Lar. It's been a while since I talked about him. B was popping shit earlier today. Trying to set up a unification bout as Arizani Lar is feeling the pressure. Lar is running scared. Now that Demetrius Andre is knocking on that door. And pretty much is in line for a shot at the real WBA championship. And there is Lonnie Lara. He's trying to do what it, what it takes now to bypass his mandatory challenge. Hopefully, Gilberto Mendoza Jr. would do the right thing. The WBA president and enforces long overdue mandatory. Let's consolidate these belts. Let's determine who is the sole true WBA king in the 154-pound division. Now, Lara, he's been... Playing it safe, he's been cherry picking, fighting unworthy challenger after unworthy challenger. Just another protected fraud champion that won't fight anybody worthy, that won't unify the titles. And now that he's feeling the heat from a worthy contender right below him, as Andrade holds the regular strap WBA, he's in position to eventually get a shot at Arizona Lara. You would just hope Gilberto Mendoza Jr., the president of WBA, will enforce his mandatory right away. But Lara, he's starting to think ahead, and now he called out Jared Hurd, the newly crowned IBF junior middleweight champion. As Lara seems to think that Hurd is uh, the lesser of the tough, the less tougher fight of the two, as Hurd is still. Not completely a finished product yet. He is not as experienced as Andrade. Andrade has a much better pedigree. He was a world champion, world amateur champion in 2007. He made the Olympics. So in terms of pedigree, Lara sees Andrade as a much bigger threat because Hurd, he only had less than 450 amateur fights. And he wasn't considered a a future star or even a future champion by as people who saw him come up through the rankings of the amateur ranks. But Jared Hurd can fight. He won't be a protected chump like Larizondi Lara been. But let him get a, a one defense in at least. You know, let him get a fight in. Most likely will have to make a mandatory defense, Jared Hurd will. I mean, Arizondi Lara, what the fuck you been doing, bro? You haven't been doing shit with your career. Your career has been a waste. You're pretty much the Keith Thurman of the junior middleweight division. And now Thurman is getting more recognition because he finally beat a champion in his division. Even though he was an unproven welterweight, it, he still beat a champion. Bilar, he's in, he's in even worse position. He hasn't beaten anybody for a title. This guy won an interim strap for the BA against Alfredo Angulo. Went life and death with him. Almost got stopped in that fight. And then he began to get elevated, promoted. Then he was the regular champion under Floyd Mayweather for a number, for a long time. Then he was promoted to super champion when Floyd vacated his titles. So this is another made champion. This is a guy that never won a strap off anybody. This is a guy who hasn't really, he's never been really a world champion. He was elevated by the BA. He hasn't defeated any anybody. Every big fight he stepped up in, he's lost. Couldn't beat Paul Williams. Couldn't beat Canelo Alvarez. People will say he won those fights. I, I disagree. So whatever top fighter Lara has fought, he's lost. Or didn't get the decision, whatever you want to call it. But at the end of the day, this is your boy's resume. This guy hasn't really won a world title. Not an official one. Right now he holds the IBO and the WBA super title. The IBO is a fake belt. It's not recognized by the other sanctioning bodies. And look at the recent run of Lara's career. It's been a joke. This guy is fighting only hand-picked voluntaries. Fighting waste men. Fighting faded guys who, aren't, who don't even deserve shots at the title. Guys like John Zavik, a welterweight, past his prime. Never really done shit in his career, besides lose to Al Heyman clients. 
has the audacity to fight Yori Foreman and call that a worthy championship defense. A Yori Foreman who disappeared, had a couple of get-back fights, but did not deserve a shot at the title. Just one of the merry cherry picks in Lara's career, especially in his pathetic reign as WA super champion. Doesn't fight anybody worthy. The only decent opponent he fought was Matarosian, and he got a good decision. He's been inactive. He hasn't looked good in fights. He talks a lot of shit. Doesn't really back it up in the ring. Now he's trying to call out Jared Hurd, who recently won his strap. But let him get a defense in. Let him get some seasoning. And let him let him get some more exposure as his star is only starting to rise. Jared Hurd can fight. He's going to be fighting real challengers. But right now, he don't need to be fighting Arizona Lara. Especially not now as Lara is trying to avoid his most worthy challenger. And Demetrius Andrade. Your boy Lara is running scared though. He knows his time is up. He knows his reign as WA King is slowly but surely coming to an end. Demetrius Andrade, do us a favor, bro. And drop this chump. End this phony champion's reign in Everslandi Lara. As you're the real WA King, I suspect you are. You didn't look good in your last fight against Jack Koke. It wasn't a great performance. It wasn't very entertaining. But you did win the fight. I liked how you closed the show strong. Won the 11th round big. Was sloppy in the 12th. Perhaps got hurt a little bit. But you did win the fight. And now you're in position to finally get some real hardware. Get rid of that regular shit that you got around your waist. But it's putting you in position to perhaps finally get a shot at this chump in Arizona Lar. I cannot wait. Gilberto Mendoza, do the right thing, bro. Order this mandatory. Get rid of these belts in another division. This will solve the problem that's going on with the WBA. Too many belts. There's only two left at 154 within the WBA. All we need is just two, these two to collide. And Arizona Lar and Demetrius Andrade, it probably won't be a great fight. It probably won't be entertaining. But I'm up for this fight because... It's, the, it's a great chance to finally see the pathetic reign of Reverend Lar as WA King coming to an end. This is Boxing Truth. I'm out.